Once we have completed our room templates, we can open Create Rooms. There are a large number of tabs under Create Rooms, and the data entry can appear overwhelming at first. However, if templates have been modeled properly, most rooms will only require data entry under the Single Sheet tab. Most other values are determined by the selection of the room template which clearly shows the importance of constructing solid templates. Upon selecting the room template, we may enter the room length and width. This determines the room square footage, which determines the building geometry. As we enter data, it becomes evident why Trace cannot display the building. As most data is entered in only two dimensions, and the visual representation requires X, Y, and Z data. In Trace, the floor length and width is only understood by the program as a total square footage. As a result, you can simply enter the room square footage and 1. In this case, we could easily enter 30 by 240, or we could enter 1 by 10,000 200, since the net square footage is identical. In the case of a flat roof, you can simply select that the roof equals the floor area. Now, we may move on to entering wall data. Keep in mind that the wall and trace is what you might call an exterior wall, that is, a surface that is exposed to outdoor ambient and outdoor solar conditions. Interior walls are entered as partitions, but do not need to be entered for most rooms. The wall height is brought in from the construction template, leaving us to enter the wall length, direction, and window percentage, or window dimensions, plus the number of windows. The direction is entered by a number, 0 being north, 90 being east, 180 is south, and 270 is west. If you find this difficult to remember, hit the F1 key at any time in the single sheet screen to launch Trace Help, which will quickly tell you this. Hitting the F1 key launches the Trace Help, where we can look at the wall direction and see that this is clearly listed. The Trace Help screen is very detailed and simple, and the F1 key always